What's up, Chief? Mason, Invisinerd, back with another State of Survival video, and things have changed. I was gonna do a whole series about how to locate these different characters in the game, and then they reworked the whole intel post, but I can show you how to get from here on out the characters that I don't have yet, like Mike. He's one of them. Actually, let's just go ahead and do this. I got you covered. Looks like it. It appears to be a bit of a uh, sharpshooter, like a uh, sniper. Looks like special unit at the uh, police department. I got you covered. That's what I've heard. A little bit of the lore on Mike, the character, after being bundled into the back of a patrol car a few too many times as a minor, Mike Ferguson decided he would be the one doing the driving. He excelled in the academy and was establishing a promising career with the highway patrol when the outbreak hit. He was enlisted, along with the personnel of all other government agencies, uh, as part of the initial lockdown and watched in horror as his partner was overpowered by a horde during a curfew check. When he eventually managed to get home, he found his wife and daughter had already turned. And he had no choice but to tearfully put a bullet in both of them. This got dark quick. Uh, Mike has decided to leave the uniform on. It's all he's got left. Okay, so a little bit about Mike. Mike gives a bonus to hunters and a bonus to gathering. So if you click on stats up here, you'll see that as a military uh, bonus, march capacity goes up 55. Your hunter attack bonus is 10.40%. Hunter defense bonus is 10.40%. And the food gathering speed, they, it gets a bonus of 1.60% to the gathering speed bonus. And while out there, he has a few different tactics that he can use, like uh, the flash grenade. Mike's troops have a 4% chance of throwing a flash grenade, stunning the enemy for one second. And again, this is while out doing uh, the military side of things. If he is one of your leaders while marching out to war, the sure shot has Mike's troops getting a 6% chance of dealing critical damage. And the triple tap gives uh, troops led by Mike a 40% chance of reducing troop damage received by 10%. So some pretty great bonuses right there, if you ask me, to the military side of things for Mike. On the explorer side, he gives a health bonus of 480, a bonus to attack, 24, and a bonus to defense of 16. Now again, this is just a basic one level hero. While exploring, he throws that flash grenade that can stun targets within a certain range for up to five seconds. While Sure Shot helps the chance of a critical hit bypassing the target's defense, causing uh, an exact amount of damage, 144 at base level here. Triple Tap fires three shots at a target that attacks another squad member. So uh, that'll deal uh, base damage with each shot locking onto the target for the subsequent attacks with a five second cooldown. Now, the thing is, these stats right now are base level zero, like just opened him up level one. Let's go ahead and give him a couple of levels. Let's upgrade him a bit. You can see I've been farming Mike shards down here. You can see where his face is, is where you will always find in the hero precinct how to get these characters and how to find Mike fragments is mostly through hero searches or the special intel. Now, this is where they changed the intel post uh, where it used to be you could choose a specific character if you wanted to go after those shards you could choose that specific character but now with this change to the intel post you have to kind of go searching for them you can see there are some uh, ghost fragments in the blue but i have to find It looks like a different one to unlock. So if you don't initially see the fragments that you're looking for, go run one of these really quick, and it shouldn't take too long. Go run uh, one or two of these uh, pieces of intel that show up on your new radar, and new ones should spawn after that. I'm pretty sure that once we get this one sorted out, they get back to base, it will spawn another one, in the radar so i can go to intel here and it will show me the radar i can pick up this one is completed and it should spawn another one where we see a different kind of fragment in there why not let's go do this one as well 
and we'll see if we can get some more mic fragments to pop up. This is kind of what you have to do. If you look into your radar and you don't initially see mic fragments available from one of the missions that are there, just do one and another should pop. Collect. And you'll see, there it is. Another one just popped up. It's purple. That's usually what we're looking for because he's one of those characters. Whenever you see a different color, you can tell that you'll have a chance to get shards uh, or fragments of a character of that kind of, uh, of rarity level. So blue will get you some blue. Purple will get you some purple. I'm going to keep running these until we can come up with some mic fragments There they are. So you'll see a different squad exploration will pop up and you can go to it. Send the squad over there to see how it goes. They're on their way. And this is how you're going to come up with fragments, not only for Mike, but really for every character in the game, unless it's a special character. Maybe it's a premium character that just got unlocked. fragments for Mike and you take those fragments back to your hero precinct here boy I got you covered to use to upgrade all your heroes There we are. I got him maxed out to where I, I got you covered. am able to take him at this point in my game. So I wanted to actually take a look at those stats now that okay. we have seen a definite increase here. Now up to level 30 where he is, that march capacity is up to 3.9 thousand. That hunter attack and defense is up to 38.05%. That food gathering speed is up to 5.80%. You'll see obviously this stuff grows exponentially uh, as you level the characters up. And over on the explorer side, health bonus is at 4.6k. The attack is at uh, plus 256, defense at plus 1. 57. So we can take a look now at upgrading a couple of these Our skills. It looks like we can do a couple of them. And again, the flash grenade will stun uh, for a limited amount of time. And on the military side of things, we'll also have a chance, a higher chance to throw. So uh, over here in the sure shot, damage level from uh, 1,536 to uh, 1,600. 89 the crit chance with the troops is goes from six to 12 percent and the triple tap it, it, it uh, now again significant uh upgrade to the damage done as you level this character all the way so do you want to go with the troop bonus uh to go from 10 to 20 percent or do you want the shot damage to go from a 1280 to a 1408 if i have 10 of each i can essentially do one of each and feel like that's pretty good. I don't want to undercut Sarge. Oh, he's he's okay. There we go. I like to keep all of my heroes kind of at the same area. Uh, I know I can't go past a certain point, but I like to have them hopefully at equal strength so that when they go out, they all can pull their own weight. All right, so I'm going to run a little bit here to see how our boy Mike does while we're actually out uh, in the field running down some of these undead trying to stay alive. I want to show off a little bit of what he does in a battle. So you can see his flash grenade at the bottom. Let's throw it out. Let's throw it right out here. Flashed him. Stopped him. That's, that's pretty cool. It like freezes them in their tracks for a little bit. Let's do it again.
Yeah, they all kind of stop suddenly. So that's the flashbang side of it. I'm not seeing it automatically throw out the flashbang too often. Let's see if it does it. Nope, it threw down another bunch of... It's just what auto uh, does, you know what I mean? Let's throw out another one here. Never mind, they stole it. <laughs> so I feel like as you're seeing like an overwhelming amount of uh, undead come in, I wonder if it'll work on a boss. Let's check it out. Nope. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Wow, right there at the end. You can even throw the flashbang and slow down larger bosses, although I don't know if it's gonna help here. Okay, we got him, we got him. Even at a low level, my man's pretty good. Not bad at all. I'll take it. I got you covered. So if you are like me and still at the early stages of the game, I just, I'm trying to progress as much as possible every day and try to document exactly how I'm doing it as well so I can share it with you. If you are hunting and trying to find how to get more characters, more heroes to add to your roster in this game, you need to go into the hero precinct, Find along the left side, you can see the next one that I'm closest to is uh, this Trish. She uh, is halfway there. And if I hit locate, you can see that she is only available by participating in events. Next, Jeb is only available from bundles. Next, Wolf is only available from daily deals. Next, you'll only find a Lucky in VIP bundles. You'll only find Nicola in events and the hero search now. That's cool. I didn't, I don't think he was available in the hero search last I checked, but it's cool to see that they are moving them around as well. Yeah, Ray and Rolex is only in the VIP bundles. Uh, and it looks like Travis is only available from events. Very cool. Uh, I think the next one I'm going to be able to get is possibly Nicola. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep farming for the heroes that I already have and keep trying to level up and keep trying to progress and keep trying to unlock more and more and more in state of survival. Thank you so much for checking out the video. If you play, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what state you're in. Are you recruiting? I could use a new home. If you are willing to help somebody like me grow, uh, that would be fantastic. Help show me the ropes. Uh, help me so that I can help everybody else to figure out exactly how to play this game because I'm really enjoying it. It's a, it's a new type of game to me. The PvP war aspect and all the other spots I haven't even unlocked yet because I haven't been that deep into an alliance. I haven't joined a group that is like communicating and growing together and willing to help me, uh, a rather noobish player, find my way to the end game. If it's you, let me know in the comments down below. You can connect on Twitter or follow uh, via Discord, Twitch, and more. We go live all the time. All the links are in the description in the video below. Thank you very much again for watching. Subscribe if you want to see more from State of Survival and lots of other games that we play here on the channel. Thanks for putting up with me. I do hope to see you in the next one.